Hi children, good morning. How is your work going on? I think you are busy with your work. Are you watching the videos? Watch it children. Daily new things you can know about this and what the homeworks it has assigned for you. You have to do it. Is it? Yes. So in the last class I have given one tabulated column uh, by using of different types of fruits that is the acids. You have to note down that whether it is the strong acid or the weak acid. Is it? Yes. Have you done it? If you have done, you have to submit for me. Okay? Then, what is, well, today's topic is, what is our chapter? It's the chemical effects of electric current. Today is our topic also the same thing only children. Chemical effects of electric current. So, here is one activity for you. For this activity, what are the things we needed? First, we will see that one. And what is the activity? What we have to do? Let me know about that. So, passing the current through the water by using of the water or any solution by using of that solution whether we are going to pass the electricity or not. Let me see. Okay. So, for this we have needed the wire, battery and it's a jar or beaker whatever we need. It's a beaker and two electrodes. Two electrodes that is nothing but carbon rods. Where we get this you can ask me. Where we get this you can use the pencil lead also children. Take it off that uh, stick and all. But it will be very smooth. We have to be very careful. Or shells will come see for the remote and all. Remote hatch type. Yes, that shells. Take it off that aluminium sheet. And inside also you will be having the uh, coating of uh, coal. So slowly we have to do that process. Inside one nice stick will come. That is nothing but our carbon rod. Yes, we can use like a rods. Then solution for the rods, the metallic cap should be. So that is important for us. Now let me start our activity. Take a beaker and whatever the solution we are taking, either water or lemon juice or any other, we have to take in the water but be careful up to this level. Up to only the this level we have to fill it. The metal cap still down itself we have to fill with that solution. So first take the solution to no need. First take the solution afterwards slowly dip this carbon rods in that solution. So one will be the positive and one will be the negative. So we have to give the connection of this one. Then what and all we are doing the activities here the observation is very important for us. Keep it like this I am talking with the friends and what happened what happened means we cannot say what it has happened here. What and all we are doing the activity we have to have our keen observation on that. Okay. Then after few minutes we can observe the bubbles it was coming from this liquid. Don't keep your hand inside it gives the shock for us. So here what it is happening here the electricity it is passing through that liquid as we have done the last activity by using of the different types of acids and what is it? Uh, vinegar, uh, water, lemon juice, these are all the same activity also. Here also we are using that passing of the current through the solution. Then we can observe the color of this solution also will be changing. We have to observe that whether the bubbles are coming or not, the changes of that liquid whether it is changing or not. These are all our observation should be noted. So by this activity we can say that the something of the chemical effect, the effect what is the changing of the color of that liquid also, it denotes the chemical effect. How? Through the electric current. What we are passing the? We are passing the electric current. Through the electric current it is, it has changes the effect. What is that effect we call it as? We call it as the chemical effect. This a chemical effects are also the uh, about the carbon rods and all it was explained about one of the scientists. So that scientist name is called William Nicholson. Who is he? William Nicholson. So he has explained that he has kept the two electrodes in the water and he has observed that 
the bubbles which it is coming that bubbles are nothing but the hydrogen and as well as the oxygen gas which, which it is releasing in the water what do you mean by water what is the formula of the water children h2o h2o means hydrogen and as well as oxygen so who is that scientist called william nicholson he has observed the bubbles also by this activity that is the chemical effects of the electric current okay so today's homework is this one this diagram with the explanation you are having in your textbook the page number 176 page number 176 you are having children so go through with that and you have to give your homework and come okay will you do it yes so tomorrow with the other activity let me explain okay bye here is the activity of chemical effects of electric current let me see the diagram and also the procedure for this activity so here is a beaker in that beaker we are having the carbon rods that only we call it as electrodes a water metallic cap for the carbon rods and wire battery so what is the procedure how to do let me know about this children Take out carbon rods carefully from two discarded cells. Clean their metal caps with sandpaper. Wrap copper wires around the metal caps of the carbon rods and join them to a battery. We call these two rods as electrodes. Pour a cup of water in a glass. Add a teaspoon of salt or few drops of lemon juice to water to make it more conducting. Now, Immerse the electrodes in the solution. Make sure that the metal caps of the carbon rods are outside the water. We have to wait for 3 to 4 minutes. We have to observe the electrodes carefully. You will notice gas bubbles near the electrodes. We call the change taking place in the solution is a chemical change. This was explained by our British chemist William Nicholson had shown that if electrodes were immersed in water and a current were passed, bubbles of oxygen and hydrogen were produced. Oxygen bubbles formed on the electrode connected to the positive terminal of the battery and hydrogen bubbles formed on the other electrode. The passage of an electric current through a conducting solution causes chemical reactions. As a result, bubbles of gas may be formed on the electrode. Deposits of metal may be seen on the electrodes. Changes of color of solutions may occur. The reaction would depend on what solutions and electrodes are used. These are some of the chemical effects of electric current. Okay, so this is the activity children. This activity take down in your homework notebook two times and when do you have to submit the homeworks on that day you have to show to me. This running notes that means writing the homework is very important with the diagram. Okay, thank you, Jim.